I am titling the second video, No Monopoly on Truth and Continuing Revelation. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a very unique church on the earth since it is the only church that believes in continuing revelation. Other Christian churches say that revelation ended with the writings of John in the New Testament book of Revelation. Brigham Young, the second president of the church, has often been quoted as having said, quote, Mormonism so-called embraces all truth. This does not mean that all truth has come to us through the restoration, but that we are free to accept and to adopt truth from all sources, confident that all knowledge may be used to help mankind realize the purpose of life as taught in the gospel of Jesus Christ, end of quote. And, of course, um, Brigham Young was the second president of the church uh, from 1847 to 1877, which was 29 years. President John Taylor, who was the third president of the church, uh, is quoted as saying, quote, Latter-day Saints have no monopoly on truth. We recognize that God is the Father of all men and that He is impartial in His interest and love towards them. Our own Book of Mormon acknowledges that men of all nations and tongues are inspired by God according to their desire, their capacity to receive His inspiration, and the circumstances under which they live. And then he gives some quotes from the Book of Mormon and including the 13th Article of Faith. Clearly, this implies our own limitations and our need and desire to learn from others who possess these things, often in richer abundance than we. We are open to truth of every kind, no matter whence it comes, where it originates, or who believes it. End of quote. And he was president of the church for eight years. Now, this quote is from an introduction to the gospel by Lowell L. Benyon, uh, used in 1955 and 1960 in a lesson book published by the Deseret Sunday School Board. And this quote is from uh, Joseph F. Smith, the sixth prophet of the church. Quote, we believe in all truth, no matter to what subject it may refer. No sect or religious denomination in the world possesses a single principle of truth that we do not accept or that we will reject. We are willing to receive all truth from whatever source it may come, for truth will stand and truth will endure. And next is also is a quote from Joseph Fielding Smith, who was the president of the church from 1970 to 72. Quote, we must not think that the Lord uses only those of this church. He's using all that he sees fit to use to bring to pass his purposes. Do not let us get so narrow to think that we have the gospel and salvation is with us and that the Lord is confining the fulfillment of the scriptures to the Latter-day Saints alone. And, uh, as I said, he was the 10th president of the church. Next is a quote from George Q. Cannon. And George Q. Cannon was an apostle, counselor to the first presidency, writer, editor, and gifted speaker. And President Heber J. Grant once said, quote, when the records of the achievement and life's labors of the prophets of this dispensation shall be made up, the record made by President George Q. Cannon shall stand out as one of the brightest. Today, more than seven decades after his death, George Q. Cannon's writings are as fresh and pertinent as when he wrote them. And here's a quote from um, George Q. Cannon. All truth not revealed. All truth has not been revealed. Paul said once he knew a man who had ascended into the third heaven, and he had heard things that were not lawful for man to utter. 
that has been a good deal the case with us. Many things have been revealed to us which, if we had taught, men would have sought to kill us, so entirely opposed would they have been to the prevailing religious sentiment. This has been the case even with the small amount of truth which we have taught. We dare not tell all the truth we know because it would not be lawful to utter such things that God has revealed. That which we do teach and which has enabled us to progress to our present condition sometimes gets us into trouble when we attempt to tell it. It arouses hatred and prejudice. And a, a, a next paragraph, same uh, uh, same quote from George Q. Cannon. New truths are unwelcome, and you have to lead mankind along by degrees to comprehend truth. Will there be more truth revealed? Why, yes, the heavens are full of truth, and the Lord desires to communicate it to his children when they're ready to receive it. Things which, as I have said, are not lawful for man to utter at the present time will be revealed, and God will continue giving revelation if we will prepare our hearts for it. And this quote, I think, was given in 1900. All right, another quote, also by um, Saint George Q. Cannon. The possession and complete understanding of one truth or principle in the system is but the stepping stone to the complete and perfect comprehension of its adjacent truth. And thus the investigator is gradually led on from one truth to another until the mind is fully developed and he beholds a grand and beautiful system, perfect in all its parts, and every truth having such an intimate relationship with its fellow truth that to believe and fully grasp one with the mind is to believe and grasp the other.